Taking drugs in my life only really started after my brother died. The loss being so huge and sudden dramatically changed the way I saw life and what I was doing with it and it definitely gave me a sense of how quickly everything can be gone. I had already started smoking weed with my friends, which did and didn't make it easier to move on to heavier stuff. So when a friend of my brother's met me at a memorial type session for him, and offered to sort me with some free tabs of acid, I jumped on it in a way. My first pill of MD on a night out. We met our guy at the back of where he worked and took them on the spot. I was scared at first, uh, it being my first hard drug, but I just went for it. I hadn't felt anything and was getting tired, so I went home to bed. Uh, I fell asleep feeling nothing from the pill at 3am. At 7am I woke with a sick, queasy feeling. I just did not feel right. But this was the come up. Everything turned brighter. Everything felt nicer. I was more fascinating to look at in a mirror, more motivated to do everything. I knew that this was an opportunity not to waste on being my best self. My new friend got a house in which would become our new headquarters of absolute foolery. We took Ket one night and I just poured oil on the floor so we could all slide around. We took 2CB and our friend ran around the house naked, not understanding how to put clothes on anymore. That house had a real legacy. The most vivid trip I've had was at a rave in a stable 15 miles outside and had the mother of all trips. This atmosphere was indescribably perfect. Empty stable with a DJ decks, a sound system, and a couple of armchairs out the front with a huge grass hill out the back. My friend had taken so much MD that, the, that she dug her hands into the grass until her knuckles bled. It was bizarre and enlightening seeing all my friends so fucked out of it. I was on acid. This was the night I was convinced I was dancing with the souls of my departed brother and man, which was cathartic in a way, but probably dangerous. I found an apple on the windowsill and it was as though my mind just drew the connection to Adam and Eve, and I was biting into the apple as an epic display of how significant this night would be. You could say it was truly biblical. It was really sticky time for me where I was gripping for meaning and believing drugs were a blessing for me. The summer suddenly ended and left me with an aftershock. Everything I put off dealing with just hit me again and I couldn't cope. That winter hit me hard. I don't really have a full grasp on what it was that drove me so mad. But I've always thought that taking six tablets of acid in two months did some damage. I found out recently that I just have a predisposition to psychosis, which landed me in hospital for a couple of months. This trip was just on a total other end of the spectrum, where acid is mathematical heaven, psychosis is like illogical hell. The devil himself jumped into a friend of mine to chat with me. Carbon was leaving the atmosphere and I was the next Virgin Mary. My boyfriend was killing my family to feed off their blood. The hospital 
was just really tough where I trusted no one. I thought the nurses were betting on whether I'd live in this thought process, everything I knew and everything I was scared of resurfed, resurfaced in my head and just piled and piled up on me until I was only able to babble words I thought were related to each other. As for how much drugs had to do with this, maybe I'm in denial, but I say it's hard to tell. I had a lot of real stress at this point, and I'd been slowly casting everyone out while uncovering real trauma from my childhood with a therapist, and a lot of it started around my own mental health with suicidal ideation and spiritual beliefs around the death in my family. I know this wasn't directly drug related, but using weed as a coping mechanism definitely was a breeding ground. I started with drugs relatively young, and that's only been a few years, but it's given me intense experiences that you just couldn't replicate without them, and frankly, I respect people who take drugs, and I respect people who don't touch them. If you look at places like Amsterdam where drug crime is low and everything sold is regulated, it just seems so safe and ideal to me. It would be a haven to legalize them here.